Hey guys, so this is the third painting in my series and I have been doing a lot of reading on um, self-development pretty much all my life, but recently, more recently as well. And I am always very curious about how it is that we come to the beliefs and the ideas and the convictions that we have and how it is that we become ourselves basically and the metaphor of the tree has always been fascinating to me and also lately I've been thinking a lot about um, ancestry like my grandparents and sort of like what lessons and ideas um, have been passed down um, with your um, generation and um, a lot of different ideas have gone into this painting and I really want you to when you look at it to see your own ideas and um, but I did want to share a little bit of sort of the um, behind the scenes sort of thoughts that were going on when I was making it um, but I also didn't want to spoon feed you um, what to think about the painting I really think that every one of us are gonna have a different ideas and every single one of those ideas are correct. Um, so I hope you enjoy this journey. I am going to show you right now how I went about making uh, this painting and uh, see you next time. I'm gonna start by making a uh, planet using a balloon and I'm using this part of the balloon because it's going to be more of a perfect circle than if I were to cut across this way up and down. Um, so I taped it down to a vase that I have and I have some glue and I have some cut up newspapers. Let's get to work. So I'm starting with magazine strips and the beginning is always kind of messy. I'm using regular house glue and I am only going to use half of this balloon, so I'm not really worried about the bottom part. I have always been fascinated with roots and trees as a metaphor for ourselves and for our journey through life. The quality of a tree's life always depends on the quality of the environment around it. The same goes for people. The molded faces were created in a mold using hot glue. I had embedded the faces that were created from molds onto the tree. The tree was created with molded tissue paper and glue. Initially, I wanted the background to be a blue sky with white clouds. Although the basic set of colors changed to various times, the main idea was to have this tree coming out of planet Earth and having planet Earth and the tree have some 3D factors so that they stood out from the canvas. I wasn't sure yet about leaves if I was going to have any at all, and what colors. My first idea was to have these sun rays, so I used some tape and spray paint. I immediately was not happy with the results. But I think it's important to share the mistakes in a process because with every mistake, you gain experience. It was incredibly fun to paint the faces. My main objective was making it look like there was a sun shining from one side. I wanted to find non-fading paper with different skin tone colors 
Luckily, I have a vast collection at home. I purchased a leaf punch to create leaves of all the same size. I researched online for various reddish, orangish skies. This image was my inspiration. I also researched what would our faces look like with the sunlight coming from different directions. Creating just the right colors was very important and frustrating. So we're at the end and as you saw in the video, I went through many changes, um, made lots of mistakes to get to where I got to um, in the end. And what a great metaphor for life. I mean, mistakes is what makes us an experienced person in something. So um, do not be afraid of them. Definitely embrace them. And I hope that seeing my journey encourages you to um, value your own ideas and um, use the arts to express them and explore them uh, much deeper. Until next time.